All right, so now that we have NBA 2K17, we got ourselves a whole new auction house. Now, sniping is going to be completely different. I had a feeling uh, this year they were going to change it just because I felt like more people were sniping this year than they were previous years. And usually when something good is going on on 2K, uh, you know, 2K likes to come in and kind of change it up a bit. So the first thing is uh, when you're trying to send players to the auction house, it's actually going to ask you... Uh, swapping, selling, or sending a player to my auctions will wipe its accumulated game stats. And pretty much what that is, is a new feature this year where you go L2 on here and then it shows you pretty much the stats that you've done so far with the player. Uh, we ended up already playing like one game, so he ended up getting like uh, two minutes per game, one rebound. So it pretty much gives you like the stats all across, assists, steals, turnovers, uh, three points made. Wow, this is actually going to be pretty cool. And again, uh, there's new badges, bronze, silver, gold, and of course the new one, Amethyst. But let's go ahead and send our first player to the auction right here. Uh, do I want to proceed? Yes. So we go right into the auction. Auction house, my auctions, active bids, search auction, and then auction outcomes. So let's go ahead and go into my auctions real quick. And something new this year is they actually put a cap on how much you can put a card up for. And that's already one of the biggest changes so far. And right now, the max for any player at the moment is 100k. You will not be able to put up a Curry or a LeBron or a Westbrook, Kevin Durant for over 100k at the moment. Now, whether this will change or not, I have no idea. I really hope that 2k does end up changing the way the market is right now. So that's already one of the biggest changes I've seen so far in the auction house. And not only do the players have a maximum buyout, but so do badges. The badges max out at 10k MT. You won't be able to put it up over 10k MT, which again is another cap that they're putting on us. I, I don't agree with these caps. Hopefully they change it. Hopefully they improve it for, you know, the future. I guess they're trying to, you know, eliminate people buying MT, transferring, all that stuff that people did last year. But I just feel like it's too much of a restriction, so hopefully 2K watches this video or enough of you guys give them enough feedback to let them know that they need to change it. I'm all up for caps, but some of these caps are insane. And without filters, the auction house is looking a lot different this year. And probably the biggest change that I've seen so far is no filters, guys. We won't be able to put, you know, standing shot three, driving dunk, driving layup, you know, offensive consistency, uh, stuff like that. There will be no more filters this year. Again, I really hope 2K uh, decides to change that. Hopefully they bring it back. But for now, sniping is going to be way more competitive. It's going to be a lot harder to do. Alright, so obviously right now it's a little bit early to know exactly what you want to go for in the auction house. But the biggest tips that I can give you right now in terms of players is try to go for the Emerald players and the Sapphire players. Right now a lot of people are selling them for pretty cheap. So right now what I would probably tell you to do is go to about 2000 MT for Emeralds. Because right now the cheapest is about like 2.5k. Uh, really, there's not that many for 2k. But just try to do this 500 minimum, 2000 maximum. And just try to hoard as many emeralds as you can, especially the very popular ones like Kevin Durant, Carmelo, pretty much any common player or popular player that you know in the NBA. Try to get them and just go ahead and start hoarding them. Obviously, don't get too many. You don't want to have too many of one card. Try to get maybe like two to three cards of every single like popular player. And then as soon as this game is actually released on the 20th when more people are getting it. And then you know a week after that as well. You'll be able to sell these for way more MT than what you paid for them. Now the first thing you need to understand is that this is just going to be like a long term investment. It's not something that you're going to be getting MT off of right away. Right now the market is pretty crazy with everybody opening packs. And something this year that they did is actually make the pack odds a little bit better. So people are already pulling the best players in the game. Just make sure you try to get them as cheap as you can. Try to go for emeralds under 2000 MT. And then of course after the emeralds you're going to want to go for the sapphires. Those are probably the best cards right now in the game. And actually they're already going for about 9k in the market. There's a LeBron for 8750, 8500. There's a Curry for 8800. So what I would do with the sapphires if you don't want to do the emeralds. I feel like the emeralds might still be the better way. Just because there's way more emerald players than there is sapphires. So right now, probably what I would do for Sapphire is maybe try to get them under 5k. I feel like 5k and below, if you start hoarding them like a Steph Curry, LeBron James, they're going to end up going up in price. Like people are going to realize, okay, you know, we're not going to have any good cards for a while. People are going to start collecting uh, for the collections. More people are going to be getting the game as soon as it's actually out. Right now, this is only for the people that pre-order it. So there's still a lot more people that still have to get the game on the 20th of September. 
So try to get like maybe, you know, Sapphires for under 5k. Get yourself like one or two Currys, uh, two to three LeBrons. Try to go as cheap as you can and then just hold them. And then I guarantee you within a week or two, they will be worth a lot more than you got them for. And pretty much anything below an emerald, so gold, uh, silver, bronzes, you're going to want to get those for like under, you know, a thousand. Try to get them for 500 MT. Those probably won't make you as much MT, but you can try to get those for 500 MT. I'm sure there's going to be people trying to sell, you know, easy gold, trying to get 500 MT, trying to get the MT as soon as they can. And also, since this year, you can actually search badges uh, by name. You can actually go for the shooting badges. Uh, you obviously want to go for, you know, Deadeye, uh, Limitless Range, Posterizer, Relentless Finisher. Pretty much all the shooting badges that you knew went for a lot of MT in 2K16. They'll probably be pretty expensive as well in 2K17. So try to get those for, you know, 250 no Nothing too crazy. And those, you can get as many as you want. If you can get Limitless Range, Deadeye, uh, Shot Creator, Relentless Finisher, and any of the new badges that came out. And if you end up getting a lot of badges, which is something that I'm going to do, I'm going to try to focus on badges this year. And that's pretty much it in terms of, you know, what to go for right now in the auction house. I'm sure that'll change uh, as soon as they start releasing more players. Maybe they'll add some, you know, some things to the auction, hopefully at least. Alright, so that's pretty much all I know so far for the auction house. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap. In case you didn't know, in case you're new to 2K today, the market does refresh every single 15 minutes. So for example, right now, say it's 11, so the market's going to refresh at 11, 11.15, 11.30, 11.45, and then at 12, and then again 12.15, 12.30, 12.45, and then again at 1 o'clock. And the same goes for the Xbox every single 15 minutes. However, on the Xbox, it's going to be at 9.05, 9.20, 9.35, 9.50, and then again at 10.05, 10.20, 10.35, 10.50, and then 11.05. So it's every 15 minutes for both the Xbox and the PS4. Just the Xbox is going to be 5 minutes after the PS4. And pretty much what you want to go for right now is Emeralds and Sapphires. Mainly focus on Emeralds though. Try to get them for as low as you can. Just try to snipe it. Now obviously with no filters, it's going to be a little bit more competitive. But right now, not many people are sniping out there. So go ahead and start getting those Emerald players for cheap before everybody comes into the auction house and starts sniping them. Make sure to take advantage of the new feature of searching badges. Go for the shooting badges, Limitless Range, Relentless Finisher, Deadeye, and any of the new badges that you think might go for a decent amount. Just try to get those for as cheap as you can. So with the new feature of being able to search for badges though, it's going to be a little bit harder to sell them for, you know, a big amount, especially with the cap being at 10k MT. But as long as you get them for pretty cheap, you will still be making MT throughout the year. And if I missed anything, uh, make sure to leave it down in the comments, help each other out. That's just a really quick recap of what I discussed in the first few minutes of the video. I'm assuming as they continue to release Amethyst and Diamonds, they'll probably increase the maximum buyout. If they end up keeping 100k, as the maximum, uh, the auction house and the players are going to be pretty interesting. I feel like a lot of people are going to be having, you know, pretty much like an OP team right away. But there you guys have it. A quick look into the auction house for NBA 2K17. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Do you agree with all the caps? Do you agree with no more filters? Just let me know how you feel about the new auction house. And if you have any other tips that I missed out on, let me know down in the comments as well. Help each other out. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll definitely be busting out more videos as we learn more about sniping this year. Anytime I learn something new about the auction house, I'll be sure to upload it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.